Hey everybody, it's John. Welcome back to another review in the car. Today I am going to be doing a review from White Castle. White Castle is currently coming out, is out, with Sloppy Joes, which um, they've done before. I think I've reviewed before. But uh, this time, I don't know if it's different. They have one called a Smoky Joe, um, which has like fried onions and cheese on it. I don't know if that's the same as it was before. I also got some mac and cheese bites, which I know I've also reviewed before. But, channel needs content. How sloppy are these sloppy joes? This sloppy. Look how sloppy that is. One, one of my pet peeves at uh, any kind of restaurant, especially fast food places, is when they ask you like what you want on something and you're like, I'm like, well, I ordered it because I want what it comes with. Like, oh, you want cheese on it? Yeah, it comes with cheese. They're like, what kind of cheese do you want? And I'm like, the cheese that is on the menu that it's supposed to come with. And they're like, oh, we have American cheddar and jalapeno. And I didn't have time to like search it while I was there. So I said, oh, cheddar? I looked it up, it actually is cheddar. So I'm glad I did get the kind that it's supposed to come with. So sloppy, it's fallen everywhere the regular ones are 99 cents the smoky joes which is the same thing except with cheese and fried onions is a dollar 19 we're gonna get a six pack for six dollars uh, if you get a six pack of only regular sloppy joes you're actually losing six cents and if you get a six pack of the smoky joes you are saving a dollar and 14 cents um, there's no reason not to get the cheese ones. And if you're going to get the regular ones, just say, I want six. Don't order the six pack. Here we go. Let's try it out. I think the last time I actually had a Sloppy Joe was last time White Castle had Sloppy Joe sliders. You ever know sli Sloppy Joe's is something you remember eating a lot when you were a kid? And then like at some point you had your last Sloppy Joe and you never knew that was your last one. The barbecue sauce that's in the beef mixture it's pretty, it's pretty tangy. There's like a vinegary-ness to it, which I like. But also has that smokiness. The uh, the onions give this a nice crunch inside of it, or else it would just be like a, a loose meat kind of mess. Uh, but I do think you have to eat these like pretty soon after you get them, because there, there's a limited time on the crunch of those onions. I like them. Let's try a mac and cheese. They call them nibblers. Mac and cheese is another thing growing up. Like, I had a lot of box mac and cheese. Now, as an adult, like, when I eat mac and cheese, it's always like from like a soul food place or a chicken place. It's always baked. But I still occasionally get the box one. I've always liked these style of fried mac and cheese things. The uh, This kind of shell, I don't know what it is. When you fry it, it gives it like this really, I don't know deep savory flavor to the like the outside crust and then you bite into it it's really cheesy mm.
Here's a recipe idea. You make a baked mac and cheese, and you mix in a couple of these. So occasionally in your scoop of baked mac and cheese, you get this chunk of fried mac and cheese. I'm going to boil more of the sliders before I give my final. Because I gave it a little bit more time to, to lose the crunch. We'll see what happens. Definitely by the time I'm at to the sixth one, there's going to be no crunch left. Cheesy, savory, smoky. You know, the crunch left over. Mm. Really good. I don't remember what I gave them last time I had them, but I really enjoy them this time. And they really go well with the fried mac and cheese wedges. Nibblers, whatever they call them. I'm going to give these Smoky Joes. And remember, you got to get them in the six pack. That way, they only cost a dollar a piece. Um, and get the ones with the cheese on them. Or if you don't want cheese and you only want the, the onion things, just say you want the Smoky Joes with no cheese. And it's still going to be cheaper if you get the six pack. Um, I like them. I'm going to give them. A 8.7 for the for the Smoky Joe sliders, the Sloppy Joes with cheese and fried onion bits, and the fried mac and cheese nibblers. I'm gonna give those an 8.6 out of 10. Both pretty highly scored. I really like them both. It's one thing that uh, one thing that I like to go to uh, White Castle for that's not their actual cheese sliders are these two things. Um, usually I'll I'll taste some of their other stuff that's limited time for review purposes, but these are two things that I actually really like um, and will might actually go again and eat at my leisure. Anyway, that's it for this review. Hope you liked it. White Castle. I don't know how long they're going to have it for, but they have it out right now. And I know the, the mac and cheese nibblers, they come, they come and go pretty often. Um, the Sloppy Joe ones... I don't remember what, if it was like two years ago last time I saw them, but they're very good as well. I highly recommend you try both of them, and uh, I highly recommend you watch more of my review videos today, and subscribe and like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.